What's up, YouTube? New Go here. Well, today is an update to tell you how things are going with my girls. This little one, she's looking beautiful. She's getting up there. They are looking pretty good. Still have this problem with these strips. But it was my fault because I wasn't consistent on spraying them down with the Einstein oil to actually get rid of them. But what I can say is that I'm very proud of the progress that it made since from the beginning. If you check out my video from the beginning, you will see that these girls tough time. This one over here is a little bit wilted. I'll let her go too long without getting water. But she is humongous. I have a string down there holding her up because she's leaning towards the light to one side. But everybody's looking good. Just stretching though. I don't like just stretching. You know, I was watching uh, Jorge Cervantes' video, and he was saying that the reason plants stretch a lot is because of the the heat. And I was saying that might be an might be an option, but at the same time, I think this plant right here is the same strain as that plant. So how come this plant is stretching? And that plant ain't stretching just a little bit. And this one is just stretching like the maximum. Maybe it's in the corner of the tent there and ain't getting enough heat. But I'm real proud of the girls. This is a good learning experience. So in the fall, when I start growing, I'll I have the experience of having to deal with fungus gnats, having to deal with thrips, something I never had to deal with before in my plant. I mean, I've seen them before, but they wasn't where I would have to be like, oh, I gotta get something done about it. It wasn't nothing major. It didn't affect the plants in the long run. I'm going to post a video of some of my, from the beginning of me growing to from my failures to my successes. So look for that video. Right now I'm trying to get some beats to add to it so it won't be just a, a dull video that you are watching with no music in it in the back background. but. Uh, other than that, the girls are looking good. That three bag girl is. I'm so, so happy with that. I can see several spots where I can take a clone from. And this girl is in a five gallon pot, so I'm gonna let her continue to grow. The other ones I'm thinking about her and the baby, I'm thinking about taking them and putting them in there other grow box I have and let them keep growing and I'm thinking about kicking this girl right here and that girl right there into flower so we have a little something to smoke on <laughs> and I wanna, I'm gonna take a clone off each one of these and get ready for the next one See right there, the little little thing. That's alright. That's the only reason I haven't took a cone yet because I want to get rid of them. Because when I start the next one, I don't want to deal with it. Even though now I know how to get rid of them. Because when I first sprayed them, I seen like a decrease in the little squiggly lines on the leaf, and I seen a lot of new growth come in. But I didn't stay consistent with it. It's supposed to be every two to five days. 
and it's been today will be day number seven and I should have been more consistent with it and I'm two days over what I should have sprayed it with so I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on her I'm we gonna get rid of them we're gonna take clones and we're gonna get ready for the next row we're not gonna get ready for the next row yet because we gotta finish these off but we wanna get the clones started and you know get on to the just get on well sorry this video is so short I'm just right now Trying to focus on them, keep these girls going. Now, I've been throughout my video telling you how old this plant is compared to how old this plant is. And I looked at the calendar and seen the marking. This girl right here is two weeks younger than all the other girls in here. This one go into the fan. I also decided too that I'm gonna I have these like sit on these little cat bin things. And I'm gonna take that all out because so these girls can have some room to actually like grow. I wanna get another fan I think I'm gonna put in here so they could be dancing in the wind, you know. And I'm getting rid of these because I don't see anything on these at all. I see one fungus net on there. And I was happy, there we go. I was happy about that. But other than that, I don't see no grips on it. Like it's supposed to attract them. I don't see nothing on there, so. Other than that, YouTube, everything is looking good. The girls are getting up there. It's time to take them to the next stage, but look at that. That's what's stopping me from right now. Taking clones, kicking them in the flower. Those little squeaky lines. So. This is a good growing experience for me in the summertime. Because in the fall, when it's time to get down, get down, this won't be an issue. I'm going to have to find some better soil to purchase than what I bought before. But other than that, this is looking very promising. Very, very from the back of it. You see this girl right here. She's she's going real strange. I like the fact that she's low. I know she's going to stretch some more when I kick her in the flower. But I like the fact that she's low and a little bit bushy. And she got a couple tops on her. Maybe about, I think, five top cola bud sites. Or more, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, yeah. And this girl over here, I topped her twice. I'm gonna top her a couple more times so we can get her up there. Be big and beautiful, too. She's going up, but she's going up slow. This one up here, I, I, I'm awed at it because I, I lost two of the. One, I was going to be bad. This was my last hope. And now I'm looking at it. She's just so bushy, beautiful. The leaves up top, the new girl, you can actually see. And I like the leaves at the bottom. The single leaves that's growing all sporadically. But the one, the new, new girl that's coming in, you can see it's, it's vegging like a normal plant. It's vegging like it's back to how it was before when it first started. 
on another map too. Alright, YouTube. That's it for now. Subscribe, like, share my videos if it's something that you know somebody else can eat. And you grow out.